everybody, it's me, Quark, and welcome back. So today we are talking about geodes. So first and foremost, yes my game is modded, it makes these videos a little bit easier because I don't have to go out and try to get everything myself, so I can just do this and type in geo and bam, I have access to all four of the geodes in max stacks. So anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is geodes, if they are worth, uh, breaking open after you've completed uh, the museum. So I know these three right here sell for their own individual values. So I think it's like 20, I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on this, but it's like 20, 50, and 100, or 20, 100, and 200, or something like that. But I know the Omnis don't. They don't have any value. So whenever you sell them, they're zero. So I guess those ones aren't worth selling for the most part, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to grab... Uh, let's go with uh, full inventory's worth, so was it, 35? So we're going to grab 35 of, I guess, each. And I guess the first stack of 35 we're just going to sell and see how much they are worth on their own. And then we're going to go through and we're going to break 35 each and then sell them and see if it's worth it because I know... For the most, obviously we're not going to do the Omni, just because the Omni, oops, uh, went over one too many. The Omnis aren't worth anything, so we're just going to do these three. So let's head back home real quick, because I'm clueless on what I'm doing half the time. And we're going to go ahead and sell the 75 so we have. And then we're also going to empty our inventory, because obviously we can't be having all this stuff on us. That's the wrong thing. That's something totally different. So there's 75 down. Now we're going to rest, and I'm also going to empty my inventory so I make this a little bit faster. Alrighty, so our first batch of 75 sells for uh, 10,500. 10, Sorry, I'm writing it down so I remember. Now we're going to go back to the blacksmith, and we're going to bust open three stacks worth. Right now we're at our trusty friend Clint's. We're going to process geodes. These cost 25 each. So I'm not too sure what the math is on 25 times 35, but meh. So we're going to see how much all of these are going to be worth all together and see if it's going to be worth it in the long run to break open your geodes or just sell them. Okay, I did maths real quick. It's 875. So each stack that we're going to be doing is going to cost 875 each to do which factors out to uh, 2,605? I might be wrong on that one. But either way. And we're gonna subtract that, obviously, from the total value because that's money that we are having to spend to get these broken. All right, first stack done. Got decent inventory of stuff. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back home then we're gonna sell these, we're gonna grab more, and then we'll be back. So I went ahead and I just grabbed both stacks just because the last one barely took up half our inventory because most of them stacked on top of each other. So we're gonna go ahead and process uh, these real quick. I guess it doesn't help that I have max luck on, I just realized that. So I guess we're gonna have to do this two different ways. We're also gonna have to break open a bunch of them and see what they have with a not max luck day. So now we're nearing the end of these two stacks and I will have to say that we haven't gotten much junk and I think it's due to our luck. So, we are going to go back home. We're going to sell these. And we're also going to turn off max daily luck. Because obviously that's kind of affecting everything. So let's drop all of this. Oops. All of this. Wish there was a faster way. Just auto click or click all of them and whatever. Anyways. Sell all of those. We'll go ahead and rest. Oh, we're going to hit spring. Look at that. We're going to be finally in a new season. All right. So with max daily luck, we made uh, 1,200, 600, ooh, yes, 12,625, which I believe 2,625 of that was going to, is basically making up for uh, how much we spent to just break those open, so we're going to round that down to 10000 And now that we have crap luck, hopefully, we're actually going to check the TV. 
See if we have as normal luck as possible or bad luck. That's fine. Whichever. So, let's check this TV out real quick. Uh, fortune. Ah, uh, we have perfect luck again. Uh, we don't want perfect luck. D did I did I accidentally leave the cheat on? I didn't. We're going to rest one more time because I want to have kind of bad luck. So we're only getting extra luck. We're, we haven't gotten bad luck so far. I don't want to talk to you. Yes, we, we've already been processing geodes through you. You know what? Stop it. Just stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to spawn a stack of 35 of each. So G-E-O. Bam. We're going to warp to our favorite blacksmith and we're going to go in here and we're going to break down another 75 geodes. So let's go with the red one. Right off the bat, cool. So that's an ore. Okay, so, so far, not the best stuff. Right, so this bad luck is really starting to show on this one because we've already gone through 15 and we've mainly gotten trash. So we've got a bunch more of these, a bunch more ores, and we've got these three right here. I believe. I don't think that was part of it. we got these three, which these three don't sell for very much. So yeah, more coal, more ore. So yeah, so far, I guess luck does kind of affect it. Overall, though, I think I am going to say that I don't think we're going to be making as much off of this round. Uh, just because, I mean, yeah, we did find a couple of prismatic shards. Or not prismatic shards, uh, iridium ore shards. Iridium ore? Yes. You know what I mean. So, I mean, that is kind of worth it a little bit, but overall, we still got a bunch of trash. We got all of our ores done. It's just mainly more crap, so... Let us warp back. Do, 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 warp locations back to our house. We're going to... Drop all of this back in here. Doop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Going to rest. I only use skip skip day now, unfortunately. I've just gotten so used to it. Alright, yeah, so we got 10, 4, 8, 7. So 10, 4, 8, 7. We're going to subtract uh, 2,625 off of that. Uh, one second, I'm doing this by hand. I'm on a computer, but you know, for some reason I have to do this by hand. So on a not max luck day, we've made 7,862. So overall, in my opinion, is it worth breaking down the ores or the geodes after you've completed the museum? Well, no. Uh, the reason why is because on max luck day, we have made 10,000 on a okay luck day we made 7,800 but just selling the geodes by themselves we made 10,500 so we made 500 more on profit so and the only ones I would even recommend breaking down are omni geodes just because you can't sell those for anything they literally sell for zero so other than that unless it's an omni geode no just throw it in the bin why process it but other than that i think i'm gonna call it on this one so if you guys like the video make sure to hit the subscribe button and go ahead and comment down below and hit the like because that helps out the youtube algorithm the more comments and likes i have the more people see my videos the more the people that see my videos the more of them that like and comment my video and so on and so forth and it's a snowball effect so i thank you all for watching